right now in our current environment. There's tremendous goodwill towards transitioning service members, and there's also a heightened appreciation of the value that they bring. Fortune Magazine in March had a veteran on the cover, and the title of the article was a new, The New Face of Business Leadership in America, and it was a veteran. So veterans coming back and transitioning into the civilian workforce are in a very good contextual situation. What we want to assist them with is making the cultural transition, the cultural translation. The emphasis is on accelerating the transition into a new culture, decreasing the time it takes to be a fully functioning member of that organization or that team, and ensuring that our veterans be, stay on these organizations as long-term employees. What this means is it's a tremendous opportunity for companies. The servicemen and women of today and the veterans have every skill set that you would need, every background. In addition to that, they also possess those intangible qualities that really distinguish someone from being a contributor from someone who's an outstanding contributor. The SHRM recently in 2008 did a survey of members to talk about the reasons why CEOs want to hire veterans. It's things that they have a strong character and a values base. They know how to see a project through the completion. They can work in teams, but they can also lead. They're professional and they have a serious work ethic. They can work in a structure, but they can also innovate and create change.